Hello and welcome to the full video tutorial of the Personal Finance Tracker Pro. I just want to start off by saying congratulations on taking that first step towards achieving true financial freedom. You really need to have a well-defined budget to understand how much money you're bringing in, where you're spending that money, and then where your money is separated amongst all of your different accounts, amongst your liability, your asset, and your retirement accounts. Uh, so congratulations on that. And with that being said, uh, we'll jump into the video tutorial now. Uh, so you can see there's four different sections of the software, the instructions, the setup pages, the analytics, uh, and the re monthly report pages. Um, so in the instructions, that's going to walk you through how to set up each of these pages, um, but we're going to cover that in this tutorial anyways. Uh, so you'll start with the budget setup where you'll enter in your custom 10 budget categories that you want to keep track of and how much you're willing to spend in each of those. You'll also see on the left hand side that you're able to enter, enter in your gross monthly income estimate, how much you plan to save for retirement, how much you plan to uh, pay towards taxes, and then anything you want left over at the end of the month um, to put towards additional savings or investments or wherever you plan to put that. And all this will automatically update for you. And I can show as an example if I update the loans to 300 and showing I have an extra $100 that can be allocated. So I can either add that to my desired monthly savings uh, or perhaps I can add that to a different category to get that remaining budget back down to zero. And then you have your account setup pages. This is where you're going to enter in all the accounts you want to keep track of throughout the year, uh, including your liability accounts your asset accounts, and your retirement accounts. And I've got some examples over here, but you can certainly enter, enter in other ones outside of that as well. And then you'll jump into the monthly report pages. And you can see that all of your data has been automatically entered uh, and copied over from those setup pages we just visited. Uh, you can see your budget categories. You can see all your different account information. Uh, so that makes it as easy as possible for you to use this software. So at the end of each month, you'll enter in all those individual expenses for each of the categories, as well as your uh, beginning and end of month balances. You'll have to enter in the beginning for the January month, and then after that, it's carried forward at the end of each month, uh, so you don't have to do that uh, moving forward. Throughout the year, you'll have these analytics tools, and that's really going to help you understand where you're at in your financial journey. Are you meeting your goals? Are you headed to where you want to be? Or you need to make some adjustments. Uh, so going through each of these, the cash flow tab will show you the inflow, outflow, and net income for each of the months throughout the year. And then you have three tabs to track those different accounts, the liability, the asset, and the retirement. And each one of these will show you all those balances added up together, as well as you're able to hover the, over those and understand how much is left in each one of your individual accounts. Similarly for your asset accounts, and then also your retirement accounts. This is what we want to see growing over time as you invest more money, as you earn uh, interest uh, and a return on the investments you already have. One of my favorite personal tools is the expense timeline. Uh, this one shows you each one of those budget categories you set up and how much money you're spending in each of those. And then there's a dotted white line that's automatically placed on that graph. And this gives you uh, your planned budget for each category. So you can easily see visually, am I doing well in a category? Am I not doing so well? Uh, here, for example, personal, I'm doing a great job at staying under that uh, budget I've set. But for the alcohol and food categories, I'm constantly coming in over. So that's an area that I can cut back in. Then you have the budget analysis. This is more of a table format of that last analytics tool. So we can see here there's different colors. There's green, there's red, there's orange. Green means that you're meeting... Uh, your budget or you're staying below the budget you had set. Red means you're exceeding it. And then you'll see the orange if you're within $25 of exceeding your budget. Uh, just to let you know where you need to kind of spend a little bit more time trying to save uh, on those categories. And then the yearly activity chart. This will show you your trailing net income throughout the year. So each month you have a net income and then this is going to add that up each month as you go throughout the year to get to the final value. Then you have the blue line, which is your net worth throughout the year. You have the pie chart in the top right showing you a breakdown of all those different expense categories and how much of what percent of your money is going to each. Uh, you have the bar chart down here that's showing you as well uh, the bar chart form of that to see the absolute dollar amount spent in each category. And then you have your overall yearly inflow, outflow, and net income in the bottom right. At the end of the year, this report will be generated to show you all your balances at the beginning of the year and then at the end of the year for your assets, your 
sorry, your liabilities, your assets, and your retirement accounts. You can also see how much you spent in each one of those budget categories you had set up and whether you came in above or below uh, for the year as a whole. Then it gives you a nice walk down at the bottom from your gross income, taking out your retirement contributions, your tax withholdings, all the money you spent on those expense categories uh, to give you your final net income for the year uh, and then totals up uh, your yearly uh, end of year net worth. Thank you for watching. Uh, again, congratulations on taking this first step. Um, if you do want to move forward uh, and use this software, uh, there's a link below you can see in the description where you can actually purchase it. Um, but thanks for watching uh, and feel free to reach out with any questions.